public health is one that's very timely because we see a lot of alarming and incredibly dangerous deployments of unproven AI in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, where people are, you know, selling technologies that weren't even developed as public health tools as a way to track the spread of the disease, as a way to allocate health resources, as a way to screen for potential patients. And really, when we're talking about rolling these technologies out in a pandemic, in a state of emergency, when, you know, lives are in the balance, we're, it, it isn't simply a matter of corporate profits. People are going to die because of bad technology that's being sold to local health officials as being the magic bullet to, to the current pandemic. And we've seen examples of this, for example, with some of the biometric uh, scanning technology, which incorporates AI, such as, you know, the use of facial recognition as a contact tracing tool or the use of thermal imaging, even though wide area thermal imaging technology hasn't even been proven as a diagnostic test. Like there, there are a lot of ways that um, we have to be skeptical about um, AI, but I think Ash is completely right to say we need to prioritize certain use cases. And, and I think, um, you know, Kathy O'Neill has done incredible work on the, this in talking about sort of taking into account the scale of potential adverse consequences.